What's up there, YouTubers? The Hippie Gunner is back from the Peace Corps, Ghana, West Africa. My service is over. Over. Now, I'm back here and I don't know what to do. But I did get one thing for myself, for my service, and uh, it's a little thing called a whoosh, Glock 34, and it's a competition model. Well, I guess all Glock 34s are technically competition models, since it is the most used competition gun in the United States, if not the world. Anyway, uh, I've been buying random things for this gun, and thus far, I have a Glock magazine, a PMAG magazine, and... What are we going to review today? The cheapest Glock magazine I have personally found out available on the market ever, period. And that would be the Thermold magazines for $13.99 at Dunham Sports, Minnesota. I'm not plugged by them. I actually used to work there when I was a teenager. It is a 22 round Glock 9mm made in the USA. Now it says it's self lubricating, lifetime warranty, blah, 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 blah. We'll see how valid that is. Given that if you notice the differences between the Glock magazine, the PMAG, and the Thermold magazine, you may be wondering why this thing exists. Now, you can tell that it's cheap. First off, the standard Glock magazine has the beautiful primers that you can see on the back that limit your round count. This has no sort of round count whatsoever. So you just got to count your rounds as you put them into the gun. And if you're shooting and you lose count, you have no idea how many rounds you actually put into the gun. The PMAG also has a similar fashion, but much simpler. You don't see every primer of every round. It's not as beautiful, but it tells you when it's full, tells you when it's like three quarters of the way, it tells you when it's half there. The Glock mags, they work great in the pistol. PMAGs, they definitely work great. Uh, I bought this in regards to TFB TV's review of the PMAGs, and they seem to be pretty indestructible. This guy, I don't know how many reviews are out there on the internet, never looked it up, it's just $13.99, I couldn't believe it, and if it does run well, I'm gonna go out and buy the other one. Let's go over a few features of it. So the pros of this magazine, it's cheap. The cons are that it has this lip right here, and if you look at the PMAG, uh, the lip is pretty much non-existent. You look at the Glock mag, the lip is pretty much non-existent. But there is a distinguishing lip here. Now, if you don't have a flared mag well, or you're running an older Glock, that may be hard to run. And you have this thing. I don't even know what to call that. Uh, that's just where your grip ends, and they put this block on the back here for whatever reason. Let's talk about how she fares. Barely, barely any wobble. A little bit of wobble, but not really. So I guess the only thing left to do with this extremely cheap magazine is to go out and shoot it, see how it runs. Because if it does shoot fine, I'm going to buy another one. I don't care if it's cheap. I don't shoot competition. I would like to shoot competition. Uh, but right now, it's winter in Minnesota, so there's not too many of those going on. <sighs> Clock 34, 50 yards to the steel plate. Seems to load just fine. Thermal magazine. Miss. Super miss. Take your time. Seems like it runs. That'll do. Okay, so conclusion on the thermal magazines. It ran fine. You guys got to see my horrendous shooting out there, but I'm just, I'm cold, man. I don't want to be out there for very long. Went out there, popped the magazine out, and came back. Uh, anyway, yeah, it runs. I think I'm going to go buy the second one. I wouldn't trust your life with it. I wouldn't run competitions with it. Who knows? It could crack right down the center under... Sh uh, I can't say that! Oh! Who knows? It might crack right down the center when you're getting ready for a competition. As far as plinking around the house, yeah! Thermal magazines? They rock, dude. Don't worry, no bullets. <laughs>